Hey guys, welcome to Troy Time. I'm in the backyard today. I'm out here with uh, Finnegan. <laughs> hey Finny, how you doing buddy? And we're checking out this uh, this WISE uh, solar panel. WISE or WAYS, I'm not sure how you say it. It's a 100 watt solar panel, okay? I've been asked to make a recommendation for a good solar panel from sev several of you, and this is a really good one on sale right now. Okay, so this is a 100 watt panel, and right now it's $70 on Amazon with 30% off, okay? Finney's digging the uh, the garden weeds right now. I got a weed. But it's um 30% off. So that ends up being $49. So you can get this 100-watt panel for less than 50 bucks. It comes right in at uh, $49. So that is a great bargain. That's uh, about 50, 50 cents a watt. So that's a really good deal on solar. Okay. We're going to test this one today. And it's right in the same category as my other 100-watt panels. This one might be just a couple watts less. Uh, but yeah, but it's also, you know, the the couple watts less, but it's also $30 less than what I paid for my other panel. So it's a really good deal. So we're going to look at some of the specifics of it today. Uh, first, I want to talk about why a 100-watt panel, okay? 100-watt panel is awesome. That's usually what I recommend because it's generally the industry standard, okay? It's really easy to transport. So if you wanted to take it somewhere, like if you have loved ones in town or friends that didn't have power, you could take this there and set it up for them. Or if you just needed to, uh, you know, from a prepper uh, standpoint, if you needed to go somewhere or do something, you could take this with you in your car, no problem. Uh, some of the bigger panels, you can't do that so much. You would need a... Uh, you would need a truck bed or you would need two people to move it around. Uh, this one you can keep on, uh, with one person can move it, track the sun, do whatever. Uh, a 100 watt panel is a good way to go. And uh, being that it's a 100 watt panel, in full sun, it's going to give you tons of power. If you look at that uh, $12 super battery we just talked about, uh, that can this can charge that at full power, even when it's you know pretty dang cloudy outside. Uh, it can still charge that little battery at 20 watts, uh, 19 watts, even when it's cloudy. And then even when it's really, really dark, even if it's just like just hurricane dark, dark black clouds and raining, you're still going to go about one watt in a, uh, an hour, which doesn't sound like much. But remember, I got lots of devices that can watch videos for one watt an hour, will have light for a quarter watt of an hour, and play radios for a quarter watt of an hour. So you, over the course of a 12-hour day, you might get 12 watts, even if it's the worst solar day ever and completely raining outside. So 100-watt panel is a great way to go. And this is a good one. So... Um, Let's take a look and get some of these measurements. All right, so right here we're in the sun, and this is a bright sunny day. It's a little hazy, a little a little just hazy cloud out. Um, so with this sun, and we're going to take a look up. Finn's helping me out. He's helping me take these measurements. Uh, with this sun here, you're going to get right up near the max, maybe not quite maximum power out of it, okay? So let's take a peek at what we get. That's what I'm talking about there. It's hazy. You can see the kind of light haze. So you're getting a little diffusion from the light, so it won't be 100% power, but it's going to give about 90%, 95% of its maximum. Finn's happy about that. He's a little camera shy when you put the camera in his face. <laughs> but he's out here soaking up the sun with me. But yeah, so here it is. Sorry, it's sideways, but it's 68 watts. So I did see 70 watts on it just a little bit ago, but the picture we snapped here is 68 watts. So that's what we'll go with. Um, the other 100 watt panel that I got was at like 71, 72. Um, so it's just a couple watts different for, and again, I paid like $30 more for this one. For the other one. Okay, here it is now in, this is total cloudy now, and we're still getting 20 watts. Look at this cloud cover. So it's just total gray clouds. It's actually, this I filmed earlier today, and it actually rained shortly after this. So even with total cloud cover like that, you're still able to charge at 20 watts. That's going to charge that super $12 battery at full speed, even when it's totally cloudy, okay? So this panel is great. It's doing a good job. It's, it's just right up in the same category with all my other 100-watt panels. I might consider this like a 95 or 90-watt panel just because it is maybe like 5% smaller and just has a couple watts below what my other ones do. But, man, it's still a really good value for, you know, about $30 less than what the norm is. So that's what we got today. That's what I'm recommending. Uh, hopefully you guys will pick these up and uh, check it out. It's on Amazon. It's wise. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching. This is Troy Time. I'm out.